Hello ladies on Women Winning With Weight. I'm here today with the class, the ABCs of manifesting the body that you dream of. And this is the, the part of what I talk about that um, is equally, equally, you have to understand, equally as important as um, the food and the exercise because unfortunately women always think that the only way that they're going to lose weight is by eating less and moving more. I've said it before and I will keep on saying it, it has more to do than that. So today I decided that I would talk about things from a different angle and I would talk to you about um, some very simple ABCs about how we manifest the body that we dream of. All right, so um, sometimes it takes a little bit more adjusting than um, just the food to get what we want physically. I talk about the body code because you have to understand that not every single woman's body works the same way. Some bodies work very well with a lot of carbohydrates, with some sugar and with a lot of fibre and um, other ladies' bodies don't work like that at all. Some women that I, um, that I assist greatly and they have great, great responses physically is that um, they work better with a combination. They work better with a combination of vitamins and minerals and carbos and proteins and but we have to find fats we need to find their balance we need to find out what's going on for them in their body hello lorraine thank you for watching um we need to find out for them what's working and some women but it, some women's bodies got my teeth in today really only work with um concentrating on more of one thing maybe more of protein or more of fats or um, more of fiber. So we need to find out what's really working for you and that's what I've always called the body code. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about the ABCs to manifesting the body that you dream of. Um, so once you've got the chemical compound that helps you on the physical side, but I'm going to help you just on another level entirely here. Um, the body is created through every single thought and feeling that you have. Now, this is manifestation. This is what piles on the layers that you need protecting because you feel you need protecting because you are running around and you're feeling that um, you're a little bit scared or you're fearful or there's something else going on that you can't quite deal with. You're overwhelmed. You're struggling with money. There's a lot of things. There's, hi, Julie, thanks for joining me today. Nice to meet you. There's a lot of things that your body is going to be piling on the weight, holding on to the weight, not letting the weight go because you haven't got to what's triggered you, to what's actually why your body's doing what it's doing. So what I help with is not just the body code, but I also help with like, okay, so... Um, one of the first questions I would ask, so my very first A today, the A, is how much is it that you want to lose? Yes, of course it's on record, darling. You'll be able to get it on the group for 24 hours if after that it goes on a uh, YouTube. So Julie's just asking, is this recorded? Yes, it is. So I'm talking about the A, the A of the ABCs today, is that... Um, you really have to be clear about what you want and why you want it. All right, so ask yourself this question. How much exactly do you want to lose and by when? If you're changing, um, for example, if you're saying, I want to be 60 kilos. Oh, no, I want to be 58 kilos. No, I want to be 77 kilos. No, I want to lose two stone. I want to lose this. Get clear and just always have the same phrase in your vocabulary, in your mindset, in your heart. Feel it so that you know exactly how much it is that you want to lose, what weight you want to be at, what size you want to be, and know by when you want to lose that. Otherwise, it's just vague. Yeah, I'd like to lose some weight. And then, you know, some women just leave it there. I'd like to lose some weight. Okay. <laughs> How much do you want to lose? Exactly. How much do you want to lose? And by when? If you were running a business, you wouldn't say, yeah, 
want to earn some money? <laughs> you would kind of say, yeah, I want to learn, like, I want to earn like two grand a month. I want to earn five grand a month. How much are you going to pay me? You wouldn't go to work and kind of say, yeah, I'd like to earn some money. <laughs> so let's get very clear about exactly what it is that you want. This is the mindset part, and I'm just going to go into other little bits of ABCs, the other aspects of that. So the mindset part is really knowing what you want, all right? Getting very clear, very clear. I have this recording that I do on my phone, I used to do on my phone. It's like um, very precise and clear about how I wanted my arms to look, how I wanted my legs to look. Um, or is it teeny tiny toned and tanned, but I wanted to be to like eight stone, size eight, 60 kilos, or, you know, being very precise about how I wanted to feel, how I wanted to look. All right, so the next bit is the B. This is a cool bit. This is what I ask most women to understand. Who are they when they are at the weight that they want to be? How are they acting? How are they feeling? So imagine that you are at the weight that you said just now that you want to be. You're exactly at that weight. How are you turning up and how is life different? So how do you walk down the street when you are at that weight? I bet it's very different to um, at the weight you are now. How do you turn up? How do you show up? How do you dress? How do you walk? How do you talk? Um, are you more vivacious? Are you cheeky? Are you flirty? How is it? What are you wearing? What kind of clothes are you wearing? Colours? Style? Where are you going? Are you going to the beach? Are you happily to wearing a bikini? Are you running in the fields? Are you running in the woods, running down the beach without the wobble? How does it feel to be in the body when you're at exactly the weight that you want to be? by the date you want to be. A lot of people are telling me at the moment, I want to have this by Christmas. Okay, well, it's totally doable to lose a stone or two stone by Christmas. Tell me, tell me exactly what it is that you want to be, where you want to be at weight wise and by when. So most people will have a particular event that they want to go to, a wedding, um, a conference, a holiday, Christmas when they're seeing a lot of people and they want to wear that special outfit. So that's why the when is important as well. You really need to have that set in your mind so that you can like, okay, I'm on target. Otherwise, it's just wishy-washy. It's kind of, it's, it's out there and um, you've got nothing to sort of bring you home. You've got nothing to fix yourself onto. That's why the why and the when is important. And um, having that feeling knowing what it's gonna feel like when you turn up at that event or that date. And um, I made it, I've done it, I feel fantastic. It's exactly how I wanted to feel. Every single sportsman, every single successful business woman has a coach that takes her there. So why on earth would it be any different to do with you physically? You need somebody to be able to hold that space for you so that you know Yes, that's what I'm going for. Otherwise, it's just blowing in the wind. It's just a vague hope and a vague wish. The C, we've done the A, we've done the B, and now we're going to do the C. The C is that you practice that self-talk daily, as often as you can. You know how it feels, you know exactly what weight you want to be, you know exactly uh, what date you want to be that weight by. You know what it feels like when you arrive at that date or that party or that event and what you're wearing and you know exactly what it feels like. So that's, that's a practice. That is the ABC of manifesting the body that you absolutely dream of having and that's eluded you. That's why every single diet you go on will fail because this part is absolutely not in place. This isn't the place where you're not forcing yourself to have to do the exercises because actually I want to do that because that is way more important for me to feel that, to have that outfit on, to be at that function feeling this way. That, that is the ABCs of manifesting your body and that's what will make the diet work and will stop you giving up <laughs> and failing.
that's part of the big, big picture. And you have to know that this is equally as important as um, finding your body code, finding out what foods work for you, which foods speed up your metabolism, which foods speed up your weight loss more than anything else. All right. This is what I do every Thursday. I give you hints and tips and techniques and help you understand what kind of things, what other kind of things you can be doing. So let me know, answer me back, let me know exactly what weight you wanna be and by when, and let's take you from there. This is Fiona Robertson. I'm on Women Winning With Weight every single Thursday and every single Wednesday I do a weigh-in. And I tell you what, in August we had 10 stone as a group, 10 stone I totted up that women had lost by putting some of these hints and techniques and methods into play. Once they knew their body code, they knew they were off and running. And this is how you keeps you focused. So this has been the ABCs, loving you and leaving you. This recording will be here for uh, 24 hours. I hope this has been as help to you and that you now understand that there are some other bits that you can do other than just changing your food. And if you are changing your food and still not seeing anything happening, it's because your body's working in a completely different chemical zone than it needs to be. Take the quiz, I talked about it yesterday. There's a body code quiz that I'm doing. Take the quiz, find out what your body code is and it's for life. All right, loving you, leaving you. Have an awesome day and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye, see you next week.